What's going on, people? It's your man, the YB, back once again. So, Joshua Boazzi, after his pretty solid win over Dan Superman Ruiz, sorry, Dan Aziz, has called out Anthony Yardi and said the following, If a world title shot can't be next, I would like to sneak in a fight. To sneak in a yard fight. A fight with Yardi, Anthony Yardi, yeah? Joshua Boazzi does not intend to sit on his lead. Enough time has been lost in the career of the unbeated light heavyweight champion, British champion or whatever, who ironically is in a position to where he can coast into his first career title shot with just one fight in 2023. However, Boazzi would love a more active campaign. The new year jumped off to a promising start as he twice dropped and soundedly outpointed countryman and fellow top contender Dan Aziz over 12 rounds this past Saturday at the OVO Wembley Arena. Drake Ting, 100%, OVO 100%. Ideally, I feel I have to fight no less than three times this year, Buatsi told BoxingScene.com. The win saw Croydon's Boazzi become the mandatory challenger to the WBA heavyweight, light heavyweight title Dimitri Bivol has held since November 2017 and is now poised to face lineal champion Arta Paterbiev for the undisputed World Championship on June 1st in Saudi Arabia. The magnitude of the fight is not lost on Buatsi, a 2016 Olympic bronze medalist who is prepared to challenge for all the belts rather than force Bivol's hand. He's already, sorry, he already has a stay busy fight in mind. Another domestic matchup, in fact, versus the former two time world championship challenger Anthony Yard slash Anthony Yard E. 100%. If the world title shot can't be next, then I would love to sneak in a fight. I would love to sneak in a quick go on Anthony Yardy, Buatzi said, insisted. Definitely, I want to fight Yardy. It'd be a nice fit. It'd be sorry. It would be nice to fit that one in this year. And like I said, a quick one. Essentially, Buatzi is saying it would be nice to fit a quick one in on Yard this year, while we're waiting for the mandatory, mandatory to be enforced. Yard is currently due to face Serbia's Marko Nikolic this Saturday at the Copper Box Arena in Hackney. The timing works perfect as they would remain on the same schedule. Buatsi would love nothing more than to add another notable contender to his resume and stay sharp for what could be significantly raised stakes when he gets in there to challenge for the division's top prize. Essentially, what, let me reword that for you. The timing works perfect as they would remain on the same schedule. Buatsi would love nothing more than to add another notable contender to his resume and stay sharp for what would be significantly raised stakes when he gets to get his wig pushed back by Baturbiev for the division's top prize. That's what they're meant to say, because listen, <laughs> it's all well and good being called a world championship challenger, but there will be no challenge. Baturbiev would cut through Buatsi. Fact. Buatsi would get cooked. Anthony Yard got obviously got beat, yeah, but he didn't get uh, well, yeah, he got cooked, but he didn't get cooked cooked. Yard was in the fight at times. Boazzi will not get a look in edgeways, in my opinion. Not against Baturbiev. Yard can punch. Boazzi can't punch. Boazzi, he pushes his shots, he's slapping, he... 100%. Baturbiev will do ungodly things to Boazzi. I'm not knocking it, I was wrong. Um, is it possible I'm a hater? It is, I ain't gonna lie, but still. I thought Dan Aziz was fixing to cook on Boazzi. He ain't. He ain't turn up in that sense. Or Boazzi was too good either way. But there are levels. But Terbier was smoke on that Boazzi pack fact. But listen, I respect Boazzi. Boazzi showed at the weekend something I didn't think he had. I thought he was an Olympic prima donna. Kind of like Josh Kelly. Josh Kelly in his first real fight got smoked on, right? Fact. Josh Kelly was giving it all the seven left hooks and whatever else. He get in there with Avanesian and got his wig pushed back. So that's what I thought. it was. I thought Boazzi was one of them. And he may well still be one of them. But Dan Aziz, in my mind, was similar to um, 
to similar was similar to the man who smoked on um, Josh Kelly, Avenesian. That pressure style, I thought that the pressure would bust pipes. Avenesian's pressure bust Josh Kelly's pretty looking Olympic bougie kind of thing. The Olympic system is known as being quite bougie. Olympic Olympian boxers think they they almost have like it goes to the head kind of thing. Look at Fraser Clark. Fraser Clark had the whole Olympic system going to his head so much he's popping his booty on video. Go to the head. They start thinking they show girls. They start shaking their booty for the camera. Fraser Clark, big thirty year old Donny, big thirty year old two hundred and sixty pound Donny making his booty pop. Yeah, that is what you call gone to your head, lost your head. Fraser Clark, he been lost his head. Anyway, if Baturbiev and Bivol get to unify. Then we get to face the undisputed champion for all the belts, theorised Buwatsi. We want to fight for a world title, but now it looks like we get to fight for all belts, all four belts, instead of just one. Now that is a true play. However, I mean, I respect Buwatsi. If Buwatsi goes ahead, and bear in mind Buwatsi has not been the most progressive. Yes, I give him respect for the Aziz fight. But people were saying, well, he's fighting Aziz because he's a, his aspiring partner and he knows him. That way may, be true, may well be true. The reason I say that Boatsi isn't the most progressive fighter is because he's only had one real fight in his whole career. And that was Dan Aziz, his sparring partner. He was offered a year or two ago to fight Bivol for a belt. He declined. That is not a progressive fighter. That's why I respect Anthony Yard. The first time Anthony Yard got a look in for a belt, he chewed it off. Despite his own financial interests, Anthony Yard was offered $1 million to sit on the side and do nothing. Canelo offered Anthony Yard a million bucks to sit there and do nothing to enable him to fight Kolovalev. Yard said, no, I want my shot. He went in there and the rest is history. Meanwhile, that there is pursuing greatness. Anthony Yard consistently pursues greatness. Buatsi, he politicking. Oh, I went to university and I'm smart and yeah, I got offered a bit of a fight but they weren't offering enough money and apples and pears and just polit politicking. Yard, he really, he stand on his ish. And that's why I've never been so much turned on to Boazzi. Plus his style, yeah, again, he beat Dan Aziz. He did what I thought he couldn't. But there's levels. Yeah. Anthony Yard. Anthony Yardi. Team Lighty. Come on, people, stop. Listen. I'm honest here. David Hay. He has pedicured feet and painted toenails. He no good. But Anthony Yard, he on his stuff. He on his, he on his, he on his shit, 100%. He push your wig back, I believe. I believe Anthony Yard will push Boatsy wig back. I probably, I ain't gonna, I'll probably lose some more coin. <laughs> Oops, 100%. But I will bet Anthony Yard push Boatsy wig back. Too much. There's levels to the game. And with all due respect, whilst the, the scorecards look pretty unanimous, in reality, the squabble, the fade between Buatsi and Aziz wasn't as was reflected. There was many, there was slips, there was slides, and it was a close fight. I had it probably 8-4 Buatsi. It wasn't like 10-2 as it made out on the scorecards. And if you're going 8-4 with Aziz who's a small, light heavyweight. Aziz weighed in 172, which implies he was coming in on fight night like 175. Buatsi would have been 185. Yard is a big dude. Yard weighs in probably 185, 190 on a fight night. He a big, strong bull. Light-skinned bull. Yeah? Yard, Yard punch up Buatsi, in my opinion. That said, if Buatsi takes it, which I hope he does. That's I, I was the first one to say. The play now for Buatsi is not waiting around. Why? Well. Waiting around for June. Means you're going to wait a whole another year again. Because even if there's only one fight between Baturbiev and Bivol. Which I don't believe there will be. I believe there will be a rematch clause. So that means two fights. That means Baturbiev versus Bivol in June 2024. Baturbiev versus Bivol 2. In December, for example, 2024. And then the next title shot will be somewhere in Q2 2025. That's the schedule. 
You can't afford to sit around and wait for d these random opportunities. Well, not random, but for these opportunities, these belts and whatever else. Go and, get, and I actually think, I think the yard fight commercially does better numbers than Boazzi versus uh, Bivol or Baturbiev. Because Yard is a big London name. Boazzi is now an even bigger London name after beating Aziz. Yard versus Boazzi, I believe, does better numbers than Biterbiev versus Boazzi, or certainly Bivol versus Boazzi. Biterbiev's got a name in the UK now because he knocked out Callum Smith. But if, if Bivol's successful, Bivol's got a boring style. He ain't really beat no one that's been that exciting. He doesn't have much clout. Bivol versus Buatsi, I reckon, generates less revenue than Yard versus Buatsi at this point. So why not do the Yard fight? And if you beat Yard, Buatsi's missing that. Buatsi's missing that world championship level. If, if, if Buatsi beats Yard, he is then genuinely a contender for the winner of Baturbiev and Bivol. Right now, he's not. Winning eight rounds against... Josh Buatzi, don't I mean against Dan Aziz, don't make you a contender for Baturbiev or Bivol in my book. So yeah, fair play to Buatzi. I hope he's not capping. I hope he's not just woofing. That's what I want to see. I want to see Sky. I want to see whoever put an offer out to Anthony Yard for the fight. Actually, and to be quite frank, I want both teams. Both teams should be looking for this fight. Yard has nowhere to go. Yard has already lost to Baturbiev. Why not? This is his way to get back on. Yard, who I believe would win, all he has to do is smoke on that Boazzi pack. And he's back on again. Not to mention, it will be one of the best fights of the year. For me, Yard, Bater sorry, Yard Boazzi is as good as and as entertaining as a UK derby as Fraser Clark versus Fabio Wardley. In fact, I'd put it even higher. I think Fabio Wardley fixing to blow out Fraser Clark zesty back. That zesty back that Fraser Clark be popping, twerking. Yeah, <laughs> Fabio Wardley fixing to blow it out for sh for real, for real, for sure, for sure. That's what you best believe. So yeah, I'd put Yard and Buatzi in a more much more intriguing fight because Fraser Clark don't have a prayer against Wardley. That's what you don't have. Wardley, Fabio Wardley. No, he don't have a prayer. He don't have a prayer. The only thing Fraser Clark can pray for is that he shake his booty some and he distract Fabio Wardley from the whooping. He fixes it to hand out to Fraser Clark. That's it. Because outside of the shaking his booty, he ain't going to do none with Fabio Wardley. That's it. I'm just telling you the truth here. I ain't hating. It's the fact. The fact is, the only thing Fraser Clark can do is shake his booty against Fabio Wardley. Because he ain't going to do no punching. That's for sure. Anyway. Let me know your thoughts. This fight needs to happen. I don't want to hear no anything there from either of the teams. This fight, there's no excuse for this fight not to happen. There's no belts coming for either man for the next 12 to 18 months, so you can forget about belts. This is the fight to make. I don't want to see no more bums. And that's my only criticism of Yard. Yes, he's always stepped up. But in the meantime, arguably against his own interest, name me a middle fight for Yard. Yard never even had the... The kind of Dan Azizis, did he? Yard went straight from Bum to Kovalev. Straight from Bum to Bivol, to Baturbiev, sorry. Yard needs these kind of Buatsi fights. These Callum Smith fights. He needs them to get him, to, to bridge himself. Anthony Yard does not have these middle guys. He goes from complete bums to top, top, top fighters. You, you can't do that. So Yard, need, this is his time. Yard Buatzi. That's the fight I need to happen. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe. Obviously, big shout out to my doggy, Big West, for coming through and boosting the coin up. And I'll catch you, man, on the flip. No doubt.